Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports for Nine News. I'm Jeff Bork, and this is going to be the quick key takeaways and recap from last night's Canada versus Czechia game that they were able to win six to three. But Czechia did put up a fight um in the first period. As after the first period, it was a three-three tie uh, due to Mason McTavish starting the goal, goal scoring on a beautiful move and being able to get it past Yaka Malik of the New Jersey Devils prospect. And then Michael Goot was able to score from Barbenic on a good give and go. <clears throat> and then Pavel Novak was able to put pot one on a one time or low blocker side pass. Dylan Garan, the new or the New Jersey, the New York Rangers prospect. So he put off fourth a very good one time of the righty Novak. And then Stanislav Spozel went through the legs around Zellweger, the Ducks prospect to be able to get the goal there, but we'll come back to Olin Zellweger in the positive later as I thought he played a solid overall game for Team Canada as well as the rest of the defensive bunch after those bugaboos from 742 in to 1223 in. It was all Teams Canada in this game as it started them with Owen Power scoring that goal in the first period as he made it 3-2 on a point shot with traffic in front where everybody was scrambling in front. Power was able to get it on goal. Malik ended up trying to get up too late as he got it over his shoulder. Um, and then Donovan Zabrango was able to tie it late as he was cutting the slot. Beautiful backhanded pass by Cole Perfetti. Secondary assist by Connor Bedard, where Donovan Zabrango was able to wire it home on a wrist shot, having a nice cut to the slot. And then it was all power, power, power. And also Team Canada, the big takeaway from this game is beautiful special teams. USA, the two guys that are... Um, not rumored, but projected to maybe battle again for the gold. USA looked good on the <coughs> power play as well, but Canada was dynamite on the power play in this game. And Owen Power was a huge reason for it. But Owen Power gave Canada the 4-3 lead on the power play slammer that I think Malik went back a bit. You saw him put his head down. He reacted to it like that was one that he thought he could have made the save on and did a little bit better on himself in this game where Jakob Malik was playing solid early and then let in a couple goals. Olin Zellweger, as we'll jump to that real quick. The last one that he was able to net on the power play, firing that pass Malik for the 6-3 goal, the final goal of the game. That's one um, that was a, a shot that was kind of tough for Malik to be able to judge, so I don't really give him anything on that. But rebound control is key as well. Malik didn't have the most poised rebound control, which puts us back towards Owen Powers' power play goal, or not his power play goal, but Powers goal on the rebound that was able to net him the hat trick, too many powers in there, pushing it up between his name and the power play, but able to net it when he scored on the goal line as he was there, waiting for the rebound as Malik again, didn't have the most squeaky clean rebound control, but he's a hell of a goaltender, don't get me wrong, that's why he's the starter, obviously, for Czechia, but in this game, after having a solid start in the first period, in about the first like 15 minutes for him, it wasn't the squeakiest clean game. He looked to kind of get out of his uh, sink and wasn't really in sync anymore, Yaka Malik, after that first period for Czechia, but also their entire team wasn't really in sync after that first period, where then Team Canada really brought it on and really did great. But what this showed for the Czechs is that they're able to compete and able to also obviously contend with some of these top teams because in the first period they came out tied and they had three straight goals to go up 3-1. Uh, to one. Who would have thunk it? And then, of course, the team that everybody expected to trounce on them and pound on them did. And Team Canada came out and did exactly what you would expect and absolutely destroyed them from there on out. But this is a good starting point for the Czechs to be able to build from because they had a good first period. Now they just have to be able to find better play throughout, obviously, going forward. Hope you all have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Great first win for Team Canada. Sloppy play from about 7.42 to like the 13 mark of the first period. But minus that was absolutely swimmingly playing the rest of the game Team Canada was. And <clears throat> um, they got a good start from Dylan Garand as well. And then also when it just comes to the player of the game, obviously the player of the game is Owen Power. Mason McTavish, I thought, also looked good in this game. He was very present on the ice as well, so we will give him the second star. And then the first star of the game, or the first star of the game, the third star of the game, excuse me, I would say would go to 
Olin Zellweger, just because when you have that bad play early, that can knock you down as a kid early. It obviously didn't. He played a hell of a game the rest of the tilt and then was able to get a power play goal later in the game. So, again, peace out, everybody. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Stay safe out there and enjoy the rest of the world. Juniors, continue to subscribe down below to help us get to 185 by the new year or up above on the easy-to-use widget. Peace out, everybody.